Hello Digimon fans! So, cinemas in Singapore are finally open and I managed to get myself a ticket to the fan screening of Digimon Adventure Last Evolution Kizuna and it cost me 50 52 Singapore dollars. Yeah. Uh, quite expensive for a movie but it came with merchandise. So let's see what there is. Okay, first up, we've got a poster here. All right, a great movie poster. See, it says Digimon Adventure, Last Evolution Kizuna. Oh, it's pretty big. Great to put on my wall. Okay, let's roll it up. Next up, we've also got a t-shirt, which is properly packed in this uh, Ziploc bag. This t-shirt is uh, features Agumon. Yeah, it looks pretty nice actually. Yeah, guess I'll wear it for my future videos. Yay! And we've also got a button badge, Digimon Adventure button badge. So I'm pretty sure that all of you in Malaysia have already gotten these merchandise. So uh, there are some uh, extra merchandise which I got today, which was only available in Singapore, which is these files. So these files feature Digi Destiny. I think there are around 12 files, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, I somehow managed to get three waifu files. We've got Mimi here, and Hikari, and Miyako. So yeah, they actually give us random files. They, you know, just gave us this bag when we checked in. So yeah, somehow mine turned out into waifu files. Well, enough of the merchandise, let's now talk about the movie. So, how was the movie? Was it good? Was it bad? Well, actually, if you haven't actually watched the movie yet, I'd say better stop watching right now and come back after you've watched it because there's gonna be some spoilers. So, first things first, before I before I watched this movie, a lot of people were actually telling me that, you know, you gotta bring tissues. It's very touching. You will surely cry. Well, honestly, that's crap. Well, I mean, yeah, there are some sad scenes. There are some touching scenes, emotional scenes. But they just didn't push you to the point where you actually cried. Well, I would say that a lot of reaction... To this movie is uh, you know we're kind of overrated yeah so yeah don't worry about the tissues yeah I mean well everyone have has a different tolerance level to these sort of things but somehow I have never actually heard someone who had a, you know a similar feedback as me and Surprisingly, I didn't really see anyone cry in the cinema. Well, I don't know. So, in terms of storyline, well, I guess I should have seen it coming. They played a similar card as they did with the 2020 anime, which is... BAM! Megamon! Yeah, I mean... Yeah, as much as I fancy Omega Man, but it was like, you know, what? The start of the movie? Omega Man? Well, I don't know. It just felt like they were just putting it there because it's the most popular Digimon. It's just like, you know, just for the sake of putting it there because the, uh, well, yeah, fans liked it, of course, but just because it's Omega Man, you know, I didn't really think that they had to do it, but yeah. Although I should say it was justified because they actually brought in two stronger forms of 
Wargreymon, and Metagarurumon. Yeah, I mean, they were humanoid forms, but yeah, I didn't really see that coming. I mean, yeah. Omegamon at the start, I mean, you would assume that there would be a stronger enemy at the back, you know, where you would have to have a much stronger form than Omegamon, but, you know, who knows, merciful mode? But no, they actually brought in humanoid uh, Wargreymon and Metal Garumon, and that was... Whoa, okay. I admit, I did not expect that. Well, in... I still feel that, you know, despite its shortcomings, I mean, yeah, it was pretty average in terms of emotional, you know, triggering emotions, and, uh, you know, I felt Omegamon wasn't that, uh, I mean, it's kind of overused, but I felt that this movie managed to play its main theme very well. Well, what main theme? So basically, we all know the movie, you know, uh, the Digi Destiny are told that the Digimon will disappear when they grow up. And yeah, I felt that, you know, the movie uh, was targeted at its core fan group, which seems to be, you know, I feel that most Digimon fans are now in their 20s or 30s, you know, so they are you know, currently undergoing a transition with where they have added responsibilities, you know, leaving back the carefree youth. Yeah. So, basically, this movie talked a lot about moving on, like how Yamato and Taichi, you know, talked about, you know, we have to accept our future we have to accept adult life we have to move on I mean yeah I before coming into Digimon card game I was in another franchise and uh, yeah I knew that you know all these hobby stuff you know tournament organizing and stuff they would one day come to an end reality would knock on my door you know, responsibilities would come beckoning. I would one day get married, have children, build a family. That's a lot of responsibility involved in adult life. And I know that, you know, as much as all of us would love to stay in our, you know, childhood life, relive our childhood days where we were carefree where we didn't have all these bills we didn't have all this responsibility but that's just reality we will have to accept it so i mean since it's inevitable rather than being in denial and trying to relive our childhood days sometimes the only choice we have is to move forward which I feel is the main message that this movie is trying to let us know. Yeah, so, well, I feel that this movie is very good for people who are currently undergoing this transition in life. I mean, yeah, it's comforting to know that, you know, moving forward is not something wrong. Well, in overall, I feel that this movie is amazing. I loved it. It's great to see the Zero Two Tamers back. And, you know, it was just a very good movie overall. And uh, there are some parts which I particularly noticed, like uh, Sora's Digivice. Yeah. If you actually watch the movie properly in her last scene, it did look grey and cracked. So I do wonder, you know, did Piyomon actually disappear? And how did it actually disappear earlier before Agumon and Gabumon? That's a good question. 
And also, this movie seems to leave a lot of openings to future movies. So, will we be expecting one coming up soon? Maybe. Well, I mean, yeah, they gave us a picture of the ending of, you know, this uh, Digi Destiny's life. Well, yeah, although Agumon and Gabumon disappeared in this movie and they didn't show them returning. But at the end of the Zero Two season, they actually, you know, showed that, you know, Yamato married Sora and became an astronaut. Yeah, so I guess somehow they'd have to tie into that later on. So, yeah. There's bound to be many more movies to come, and I'll be looking forward to it. So, that's all for today's review. Did you watch the movie yet? And what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. And also, you can let me know whether you agree to my point of view or, you know, maybe you can provide me with another perspective to the movie. Yeah, I'd love to hear about it. But for now, that's all I have to say. Good night and see you next time. Bye.